new For My Girl palette in Spectra that I got in a friend mail from my awesome friend Debbie Knobloch. Her channel is Debuton, and I will have it linked in the description box below. I will also have Christine, uh, the owner of Gourmand Girls. I will have her Instagram uh, linked in the description box as well. This is my first time using this this uh, brand of eyeshadow, and I'm super excited. Um, I've been wanting to try it for quite some time, and I was just overwhelmed when Debbie sent me um, two of her palettes to try out. So, I'm, I'm just ecstatic um uh to address the elephant in the room i got my hair cut again it is super short <laughs> i saw a picture that riri of the brutally honest beauty had posted on facebook of her hair back when it was in a pixie and she recently just cut hers herself oh my god and it looks fabulous again into a pixie so i copied hers um i think the front of mine is like a little longer and i would actually uh, prefer it to be a little shorter than this but I really like it I if you didn't know uh, I used to have hair down to my behind I could sit on it and uh, I cut off 37 inches and I've just progressively cut it shorter and shorter and I'm I'm probably never ever going back to long hair so anyways let's get down to this look um, uh, as I said in the video where I unboxed the friend mail I'm going to use these pink shades. I am going to a uh, memorial service at the lake for my mother-in-law that passed um, recently. And uh, we're going to go have a memorial service for her. And I'm wearing a pink shirt. So I thought I'd do a pink look. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a fluffy brush. And let's start the crease out with... go here and it does appear to be a shimmer shade but y'all know I don't care about that <laughs> I use shimmers wherever yes it's definitely a shimmer shade but we're gonna go for it so uh, oh wow this is just laying down beautifully look at that so pretty and it's it's like I thought a muted type pink if you go in with a lighter hand and you I think the other shades are just going to blend out on top of it gorgeously. So I really like that as a soft base. I have a little bit of fallout, but yeah, totally just brushed away with my powder brush. So so far off of just this one shadow performance, I really, really like this brand already, which I knew I would because you know several of my friends have uh, done looks with their with her shadows with pristine shadows and uh, so oh yeah that's really nice okay so now I'm gonna take my uh, crease brush and I'm gonna go into this this one no 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 I'm gonna go into this one and I'm going to put that directly into my crease in the socket. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is very pigmented and smooth. That just lays down just beautifully. I do have some fallout, but I love the way that blended gorgeous such a pretty pink color and I'm just gonna do a pretty simple look um, for this um, my mother-in-law was a very special lady she was feisty she was uh, very independent she would tell you like it is uh, she and I were uh, on different different sides of the political realm <laughs> and uh, she didn't mind getting down there with me <laughs> on occasion um,
think I'm going to go back in with that first brush and take that uh, first shade and do a little blending over the top of this. Just a little bit. That gave this look a whole new, look at that, it gave it a whole new uh, vibe. It really softened up that pink in the crease. For the lid, um, I'm going to take this pretty color here, it's called Twilight, and I'm just going to go pretty light on the lid. I'm going to spray it because I spray every shimmer regardless of brand. <laughs> I'm using my Mario Badescu. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Really, really, really pretty. And it made the look a little more soft than just bam, pink in your face. Another spritzy spritz for the other eye. like crazy it's already warmed up here in Oklahoma and these lights in front of me are just I'm sweating like crazy oh no the boys came in Saint and Meatball came in <laughs> they're playing I really like that I really do Okay, I'm going to do a little on the outer V, and I think I'm just going to go into this slightly deeper, more purpley shade. Just a little bit. I don't want anything really too much of a contrast, but just maybe a little something. Yeah. I usually do my outer V first before my... Uh, Weird. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I wasn't, apparently. But I kind of like that, how it went over the, uh, the shimmer on the lid a little bit. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush and just sweep away that fallout. And then, um, let's see, I'm going to take some, uh, I'm going to take this taupey shade under the lash line. So pretty. Oh, I really do like these shades. This is a beautiful palette and a beautiful formula. I'm so excited. Okay, I finally got to try it. I love it. I hear meatball clumping in here. He sounds like a Clydesdale. <laughs> He's the Great Dane puppy. They're four months, four months old now. Okay, so for the inner corner, I think I'll take that pink shade, that, that one I went on with first, this one. It is called Pink Sand. And I'm gonna put that in my, oh my goodness, I'm sweating so bad. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I'm 
going to go off of here. I'm going to put on some uh, of this Wet n Wild Mega Last Black Eyeliner and the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise that's in my project pan. And I will be back to do some lips.